Hello everyone. We are back with Glen Velvet Reviews. Um, I just got my second pair of lights for my reef tank for my 40 breeder. Uh, I just got it from um, Bulk Reef Supply and uh, I'm going to open it up. Let's see. Hopefully they're not broken. Everything's good and I can install them and show you what it's going to look like on my tank today. And um, I ordered the other. I ordered the other Aqua Blues. I ordered these. Blue Plus. I ordered Blue Plus. I ordered the. I ordered the Blue Plus from uh, Marine Depot just because um, Bulk Reef Supply didn't have it in stock. Um, usually, I order. Um, can you guys see that? Hopefully, you guys can. Um, There you go. So yeah, I got the T5 39 watt Blue Plus um, ATIs I got. So, and then in this box uh, is going to be the Coral Pluses. So that's what I got. Hopefully that setup is going to be a really nice glow in my fish tank. I don't know. Um, that's why I'm going to show you guys on here what it's going to look like. And obviously on camera it's going to look a little bit different than the eye. But, you know, bear with me. It is what it is. I, you can just see how it's going to look with... Um, you know, at least with this uh, camera. So let's open this up, get this going. Make sure we check these out. This is nice. I like that. Look at this. Look at this setup they got in here. Um, Marine Depot sent it in a, in the box similar similar to this. They sent the box similar to this. Um, same height, same everything. But um, inside, this has um, foam. See? It has foam in there, as hopefully you can see. So yeah, it has foam in there. I'm going to pull it out and you're going to see it, but it's really cool. It's a different design than Marine Depot that just you know, um, threw it in with, um, with what's it called, um, you know, bubble wrap and, you know, that's about it. So that's what they threw it in with. So let's open this up. I'll show you what that looked like. It looks pretty cool. See? Oh, that's pretty cool. See? It comes in, uh, it comes wrapped in this little foam thing from Bulk Reef Supply. I like that. That is pretty smart. That is pretty cool. Um, that's it. That's all that's in there. This is empty. So this is what I got. I got the Coral Pluses. Pull these off. And uh, this is what I got. I got the Coral Plus. Let me see if I can, uh, you guys can see this better this way. Um, so we got the Coral Plus right here, like that. All right. And, um, let's see. So that's my Alexa going off. Alexa, answer. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? I saw Miss call from you. Yeah, give me one second. So, yeah, this is the Coral Plus T5 39 watt, um, bulb that I'm gonna use for the um, for the fish tank to see if it's gonna work and then you guys can see uh, what it's gonna look like on there all right so I'm gonna get these open they don't sound like they're broken which is really good I'm happy about that and um, we're gonna get these uh, get this get these installed so here's the tank right now there's the tank just flying around and my royal grandma down there and this is what it looks like and this is just under an LED um, you know, drop light, pretty much, uh, drop-in light, um, that's for, uh, you know, a drop ceiling, 
So I, pu I put that in and uh, I've been running this for a couple months like that to get the uh, bad time algae out of it and uh, it's been working I think because it hasn't been growing that well. So that's good. So this is kind of the setup. This is what it looks like from the, about this distance and then uh, in the next video then you'll see um, in the next clip then we'll see uh, what it looks like with it on. All right and that's the light fixture right there and you'll see it all snapped up and all together the aquatic life. All right. Thanks. All right, now it's uh, time to get these light bulbs in. Let's get these light bulbs in. Um, I'm gonna go with the, um, I wanna know everyone's you know opinions in the reviews uh, posted below, but um, I'm gonna um, go with the Coral Plus on the outside and the Blue Plus on the inside, or should I switch it? I'm going to do that right now and you're going to see what that's going to look like. Let's get this in here and um, get this turned on so you can see what it's going to look like uh, under the uh, ATI T5 39 watt light bulbs. All right. All right, the light bulbs are in. Let's see what this is gonna look like when we turn it on. All right, everyone. We are back with Glen Velvet Reviews. Uh, I just got my um, new light bulb in that Bulk Reef Supply exchanged out for me. Uh, I, had a, um, I had them shipped and everything and the one that came was broken. I emailed them and they shipped it out right away. It came ground, so it took a week to get here, which kind of stinks, but what are you going to do? It, uh, you know, as long as they took care of me and uh, this one works, let's see. L let's get this thing open and make sure it works. So we're going to put it in the light fixture, plug it in, make sure it works in my aquatic life, and then we'll know what we're going from there. All right, so let's get a razor blade out here. One bowl. Okay, so we got the one bulb in here. Let's uh, plug it in and see how it works. All right, we're good. Light bulbs are on. Okay, so we're going to plug this in and we're going to see what it looks like on my fish tank. Um, I'm going to show you a little... Uh, preview of what my tank looks like um so that's what it looks like right now let's turn the lights off and then you're gonna see what it looks like so this is what it looks like right there you see my royal grandma just chilling out in the front my tang has been hiding all morning i'm a little scared about that so i need to feed him or make him feel more secure because he's not out i don't know what's wrong with him so hopefully he comes out um he's in the rocks on the right He's just been sitting there all morning, and I don't know why, but I want him to come out and be healthy and start eating. So I'm going to feed them in a little bit. We'll see what happens with when how he comes out. But anyway, um, that's kind of the setup right there. That's what it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like with the light off. Alexa, turn off kitchen one. This is what it looks like real quick with the uh, with the lights off. So this is what you're going to see so you can get a preview of what it looks like with the lights off. And I'm going to put the lights on and then you'll see what it looks like after that with the T5. I got the Coral Plus and the Blue Plus I have on my um, fish tank is what I'm going to be using. And if you want to know the positioning of them, just com uh, ask, ask me in the comments below because I'm... I, I didn't really look at it. I think I put the coral plus in the front, I think, um, and the blue in the back. Um, that's what I think I did. So that's what you're going to see when it lights up. I, I think so. So, all right. 
So, all right, we'll check the next video and uh, next part, and we'll see what it looks like when it's all lit up with the uh, my new um, fixture on it. All right, thanks. All right, so uh, let's get this T5 um, installed over the fish tank and see what it looks like. Like I said, the bulb um, came in from Bulk Reef Supply. The first one they sent me was broken, so it didn't work. A Coro Plus uh, bulb that I got in a 36 inch, uh, 39 watt, I think it is. So I, um, so I got it in yesterday, but it, I got it in kind of late, so I didn't want to put it in and uh, freak the fish out. So I'm going to put it in now. And now I have the lights on and stuff, so they won't be as freaked out because uh, I'm going to put really bright lights on there now. So I just don't want to stress them out extra. And um, we're over the four-month mark that I'm going to be putting lights on of this tank running. Just to let everyone know, so you have an idea of how long I've been running the fish tank for. It's been four months. Over four months, actually. 4.5 months it's been. So I'm going to put the lights on now. And, uh, you know, that's what they recommended to... Um, not go through the ugly stage of having you know nasty algae everywhere and all this other stuff so that's why I, you know decided to do this instead so let's pop this light on let's see what's up and see what it looks like and uh, then you guys get an idea see if this light works for you I built my own hanger system as you could see up there if you saw in my other videos um, I built my own hanger system um, and I already, you know, like I said, I showed you guys that before. But there it is right there. That's what I made uh, to hang the lights up because I did not want to pay. I think it was like $80 each, each arm or more. Maybe it was, um, it was like $80 or $90 each arm for the light. And I got to get two of them. So you're talking $180? Come on now. That's a little ridiculous. To, you know what I mean? To hang up the light. So I made this for like... Actually, I've had those brackets that that I got for free somewhere, and the other brackets I bought for three dollars. I put on some screws that were fifty cents, and now I got my own hanging system, and it cost me, you know, pretty much uh, under ten dollars instead of spending a hundred and ninety, whatever, hundred and eighty on um something that's not really gonna make life easier or better for me, or you know, have a warranty or anything like that. Like nothing, you know, nothing really. I can I can can't justify spending that on those. So, maybe you can. Maybe it works out for you. I get it. Fine. You know what I mean? I'm just saying for my application and the money I'm spending, you know, I'm more budget friendly than, you know, just, you know, throwing it out there. So, let's get this going. Let's get this light on here. See what, you, see what we uh, see and uh, see what's up. All right? Uh, I just want to show you something which I think... Um, Maybe I can make a modification if it becomes a problem, I'm not sure, but I want to put a plastic cover over this on the ATI Aquatic, I'm um, ATI Aquatic, the Aquatic Life um, fixture. I want to put a thing over here to protect it from the salt water, so I'm thinking of um, doing something, some modification here. Uh, maybe you guys already did it or have an idea, but I do wish I could put a cover, I know it has the silicone, but I'm still, you're still going to get a lot of salt deposits up on here. And I want something that I can put over here, at least protect most of it. Maybe I could take it out and clean it and put it in the sink. That's just to show you what the Aquatic Life um, fixture, what I wish they would have did was made this a little bit more safe and um, that it won't, because my salt water goes pretty high. If you see your salt creep on your filter, it's like, what, four inches off the ground, you know what I mean? And that's, you know, it probably can go higher. So I'm, I'm, this is gonna be eight inches. I'm hoping there's gonna be no salt creep, but at the same time, like I said, it would have been nice to have a little cheap piece of plastic over here. Something that would have cost them probably like 25 cents and I would have paid the extra two, three dollars, five dollars. I would have paid an extra five dollars if they would have put it on an out thing and they still would have made money. So that's just to show you what I wish they would have put on the Aquatic Life fixture and um, made me feel more, you know, secure and safer. I know it's a budget friendly light. That's why I got it. Um, but like I said, an extra five dollars I would have paid for uh, for extra security, or even an extra ten I probably would have paid. But that's about it. So let's get this on.
All right, everyone, that's it. It's on. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to go up close in a second, but this is what it looks like from afar. I'll turn off the lights so you guys can see. Alexa, turn off kitchen one. Okay. Alexa, turn off kitchen. Okay. All right, let's turn off this light, and we'll see what this thing looks like. All right. So that's what we got. That's what it looks like. A little bluish color, I guess. I got the blue pluses in there, so that's what it looks like up there. So it's a little bluish color. That's kind of what I got. There's the fixture. There's my hanging spot. That's what we were gonna. That's what you can expect. Like I said, that's what all my lights off right now, and uh, that's what you're gonna be getting. And I got a bluish tint. Mine looks a little bit lighter. It looks a little bit darker on camera, I can see, but it is like a bluish tint. Um, like I said, I got two coral plus and two aqua, no, two blue plus is what I got in my tank right now. All right, so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so that's it for now. That's uh, the installation, so you guys can get an idea of what you can expect to see when you hook your aqua life, uh, aqu aquatic life fixture up. Mine's a 36 inch, 39 watt, four bulb. Your might have something different, but it's still gonna be somewhat kind of a similar effect. And that's it. That's what you can expect to get. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching Glen Velvet Reviews. I am out. Enjoy. Have a great day. Um, please, uh, if you have any comments or questions, tips or tricks, post them down below. I would love to know. And um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting up, uh, you know, trying to educate people and get educated myself on reef reefing and products that I like to try out that are everyday products that you would get for your home or whatever and I just like to do that so join me up have a good one subscribe and uh, be safe have a good one bye bye everybody